Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Discriminating Gamer. Say, have you heard about that gang that's going around shoplifting and stealing clothes by order of size? They're still at large. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Warriors from Funko. Hello everybody, we'll be back to the review in just a second. I just want to take a minute to tell you to go visit Galaxy of Games in West Jordan, Utah. It is Utah's newest game store. Uh, it's run by friends of mine. It's a great place, great selection, great prices, well-lit, clean bathrooms. If you go in there, ladies and gentlemen, and you tell them that I sent you, the Discriminating Gamer, and you use the promo code DDG, you'll get 10% off of your purchase. Check out Galaxy of Games. The Warriors from Funko is a game based on the 1979 film of the same name, in which two to four players take on the roles of gang members, the Warriors, as they attempt to transverse a hostile New York City and get to Coney Island for the big showdown. The game board is essentially a map of New York with various neighborhoods, and the Warriors uh, characters are going to be moving throughout these uh, various neighborhoods on their way to Coney Island. Each player is going to get their own warrior standee, which is going to move along that track. They're also going to get a number of cards based on a specific character that they will play. These cards will have various uh, weapons and will tell them how many die they're going to roll in certain situations. And you're also going to collect various weapon cards that will uh, can be played with some of these other uh, warrior cards. You're going to go ahead and have a bopper deck that you'll go ahead and put uh, near the board. You're also going to have various location tiles and various gang tiles that you'll... Uh, shuffle at the beginning of the game. Now on the board you're also going to have a track of various gangs. Now your gang leader uh, is going to be right in the center on the four position and he, what's going to happen is as you win or lose fights you're going to move up or down the reputation track. Now each round of this game you're going to have a fight phase and then you're going to have a city phase. Now during the fight phase what is going to happen is you and your friends are going to attempt to defeat some gang in a certain location on the board. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go around, you're each going to take a turn, and you're going to play cards. Now, these cards, as I say, are going to represent either the warriors or weapons that you've got uh, or some other kind of basic fight cards. Now, typically, what you're going to do is you're going to play a card, and if nothing else, up in the corner, it will have a number of die you can roll uh, in order to fight. But you may also have a... Um, like I say, a, a weapon that can enhance some of your abilities. If you play a, the specific weapon, say a chain, a switchblade, a baseball bat, with that card you can get some of these special abilities. But between the gang and the location there are a number of spots on this board. You have to always cover up the spots on the gang and then depending on how many people are actually fighting the, uh, the, the gang, you're going to have to cover up that many spots on the location as well. There's also spots for reputation. You're, depending on what your reputation is, you're going to have to cover up those spots as well. Now once you've played all your cards and you figured out how many die you're rolling, you can never roll more than five die, you roll the die and you can cover up a spot with a number that is equal to or lower than what you have rolled. So if you cover a spot, then the next person goes, they're playing cards to cover a spot, etc., etc. Once you've covered up the necessary number of spots, then you go ahead and you move on uh, to the city phase. Now if you can't fight, if you can't uh, knock someone out here, uh, you get knocked out. If you get knocked out, you have to destroy a card, remove it from the game, and you are out of the fight for the rest of the game. Now, as I say, if you beat that particular gang and they are ahead of you on the reputation track, you move up. They move all the way to the bottom of the reputation track. Now, each of the areas on the board, every neighborhood ends with a fight token. 
Now during the city phase, you are moving closer and closer toward the uh, Coney Island. Now you can move as far as you want along the track, but you cannot move past the fight token. Um, so you're landing on different spaces. Now some of these spaces may allow you to draw new warrior cards, may allow you to draw new weapon cards. They may allow you to do some other funky and cool things. If you move to a subway, you don't have to worry about drawing a bopper card. Everywhere else you're going to have to draw a bopper card. If you land on some spaces, you're going to have to draw two bopper cards. And these bopper cards may say the coast is clear, in which case you just put it in front of you, no big deal. But some of these are going to be threat cards. Now if you get the first two threat cards you get, you just ignore, but on your third threat card, you have to do whatever the card says, and that immediately triggers a fight. Everybody in that neighborhood is gonna participate in that fight. Now, when you're challenged to a fight that begins the new round, you go ahead, you take care of the fight. Once you succeed or fail, nevertheless, you can move into the next phase of the, uh, of the uh, neighborhood. You can move in the next neighborhood of the board. If, however, you lose the fight, then you go down in reputation. That's not gonna help you. Now you do have the opportunity to run away from a fight. If you do run away from a fight, you will lose reputation. Toward the end of the game, you're going to be moving toward Coney Island. Once every member of the Warriors is in Coney Island, you go to your final showdown. You select the gang member that is uh, highest on the reputation track, you place the Coney Island there, and you have one big final battle. Now this final round is a little bit tougher, the Coney Island location is tougher, and if you and your friends can go ahead and defeat the gang at Coney Island, then you win! The Warriors. We'll get back to the review in just a moment. I want to take a minute to ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about history, books on history, military history. I even post some of my uh, lectures for my classes on there. Please check that out. Please subscribe to that channel. And now, back to the review. So, The Warriors is based, as I mentioned, on the 1979 film. This is one of those movies that I've always kind of seen pop up here or there, but I've never actually watched this movie before. Um, I am, however, familiar with its source material, which is the Anabasis by Xenophon, which, of course, is the story of the Greek mercenary, the Athenian mercenary, who joins the Persians to put down a revolt, and it turns out that they are the revolt, and they attempt to battle against the um, forces of the king. The king actually wins, and now these 10,000 Greeks had to march out of hostile Persian territory, pursued by the enemy relentlessly, before they finally make it to the sea, and they shout, the sea, the sea. Uh, I'm familiar with that story, but I've not seen the movie, The Warriors. Um, the game itself is pretty light and pretty quick. Um, and really, this is kind of a, kind of a light dice manipulation game. Um, it's really, you're playing the cards, you're trying to get more cards, and what's interesting here is the things, if you get knocked out or, you know, other effects of the game, you're going to be permanently losing cards. So you need to constantly stock up on cards, replenish your, your hand in order to engage in these fights. It's a very important part of the game. But as I say, it's, it's, it's pretty basic. Now, I liked the game generally. I thought it was fun. I thought it was interesting, and it may be one I, I, I play again at some point. But having not seen the film, I, I, I don't know that I got as much out of it as I would have otherwise. And I will say I am eager to see the film. I'll probably see the movie and then play this one again to see how, how, how much I liked it. Um, all told, I, I, I like this game. I think it's... I, I think working, I mean, any cooperative game is a puzzle. And this really is a, is a puzzle of trying to work together to overcome these fights. And, you know, again, it's got the virtue of not being a terribly long game. If this were a longer game, there wouldn't be enough meat here. Where it's shorter, I think it's fun. I enjoyed this game. I don't know that it's for everybody, um, because again, the, the film's obviously at this point a bit more of an obscure film. I don't know that if everybody's seen it. Um, but I think, I think there's enough meat here that a lot of people will enjoy it. Um, because of the theme, I, I'm probably just going to go ahead and say try it before you buy it. I think if you did like the movie, I think you'll really enjoy the game. I think you'll find a lot here, uh, I'm assuming, because I haven't seen it. If you haven't seen the movie like me, you may enjoy this game, but I don't know that you'll love it. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We'd ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. I'd also ask you to please check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about military history and books on history and fun things like that. Please check it out, please subscribe, and please give a thumb to this video on Board Game Geek. That helps us out a lot as well. You know, uh, I don't like to talk about this, but... Um, 
When I was younger, I was actually kidnapped by a gang of mimes. They did unspeakable things to me. Hey, somebody help me on my feet again. And I don't know where I'm going and I don't know where I've been. Please somebody help me on the solid ground. It's a long time and I'll be dying. Once a year I wind up in the band. Please, please, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube or Sean will come to your house and cause all sorts of problems with your dog. You will. <laughs>